Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Zomzero here, I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, in this video, this is going to be something uh, a little bit different, I'm going to share some of my uh, tips and tricks of when I'm doing uh, a creative build, and just some of the things that I would do, and I'm going to make a series of it, and this is going to be uh, the first part, and this part is uh, how to make... A stone house entrance look a little bit uh like it's got more depth more life to it so let's uh let's get started so this is probably what it would uh start off like if i was gonna uh, do a stone house entrance build as you can see there's no house behind it it's just the <laughs> entrance but this is what this is what I would start with and to tidy this up and give it some depth make it look like it's got life the first thing I would probably do is create some uh, get some depth and to do that I'd first get uh, the wood poles do the main doorway and just frame it like that and then, again, take the wood pole, line it up, like so, do it again at the top and also on the other side, just nicely line it up, doesn't have to be perfect, and then do it at the side as well, same here, line it up, place it, then I would take the wood beam, the one meter, uh, using the shift key, I would line this up to just get it almost central. Doesn't have to be perfect again, but as long as it's close like that, and then we just flip in the sides like that, and the back bit here. And do the same here. On this side get it so it looks like it's at the floor like that and clip them in do the same at the top get it central and clip try and do it on this side as well try and get it at the same height if it doesn't, you can always correct it later. And then again, flip it in. Get rid of any unwanted guests. <laughs> and there we go. We've got like the two side pillows. And we take the wood beam, two meter. Come across like that. which that has created a decent bit of a... Uh, wait, it looks like it's got depth now to the doorway. And then I'd fill in... where the stone is, using the wood wall one by one. And then use the wood floor Can't quite see. Uh, and just fill in that. And the same here. Like that. And that gives it a bit more depth. You can see it's casting shadows on the inner side there. So a nice amount of depth on that entrance. Then on the sides, I will take the stone pillar, come in one like that, place that down, place that down, place that down there, so like that. 
then at the side then come out one so it's at the angle here you can see you've got the gap here like that then go three up now you can see there's a gap there you can see through there and there's that gap but you just fill that in with the pillows there you go and it hides that gap do the same this side remember come one in and then one out from there so you got that gap and then fill that gap in with the pillows like so then we take away all this top part of the roof here because it's a stone house I'm not going to be using any wood for the main entrance apart from the, the actual framing but I would take that away and then I would just use once again the wood being 26 degree I mean one like so and then build up the wall Like that. And you can actually take those away. You don't need them. So you've got a quite a big big gap. So we just take the wood beam again. Do it here first. And then just line it up using the shift. Like so. Do the same this side here, line it up as best you can. Like so. And this just hides the gaps. And obviously you do it on the, the same on this side as well. Just line it up again. Do the same this side. Line it up. Uh, that just hides the gaps. Oh, there. You have that so far. Now... I'd like to create a nice little window here above the, the doorway. So just do that. That. Using the, the wood beams to get you that kind of uh, uh, eye shape. <laughs> Looks like an eye. And then knock out that and replace with the, the stone wall one by one. Then take the wood floor one by one and raise it slightly like that. Just needs to be a bit of a gap there. And then we take the stools and line them up best you can. and get four in there neatly and then just stack on top try and keep it in line with the bottom one as you stack in them like that and then obviously this side you would use the, the wood beam again, the 26 degree angle. 
about the same eye shape. And that's what you have. That is the effect it gives. Yeah, that looks good. Right, then we need to start with the roof. So, firstly, we take, we take the wood beam, 26 angle again. And we place it there. Put one there and one on this side. And then, using it again, we come out one. Just turn it once like that. Same on this side. Turn it out once and then join them up. So you get that. Just like that. And then we use the. Wait, well, use whatever roofing you want. But I'm going to be using the shingle roof 26 degree. When you're putting the place in the roof, make sure you're using the top one here. This top one. Not that one. This one. And just, yeah, just place that down like so. Uh, yeah, that one doesn't look right. Try that again. Yeah, there we go. And then put them in here fit like that like that just angle it so that it snaps in and then take the wood beam two meter and snap it in there and there and the same on this side and then you go underneath and snap one in there it just hides the hole. Just like that. Then, put the wood pole two meter. Place it inside there. In the gap. And then, on the outside, outside here like so then take the wood beam again 26 angle that there right on the edge just on the tip there And then we take the wood beam one meter, place there, and there. And that is pretty much how I would create an entrance, give it some depth, some character. And then obviously give it some light to show off the shadows and the character. But, uh, Santa Brazier on the sides. Maybe he's a scone on the sides there too. I'm gonna have a hanging one. Hanging Brazier. Right there. And there you have it. That is how I would create some depth on an entrance to a stone house. I think that looks pretty cool. Definitely got depth and character. Also, what we could do is put some beams there, 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 and there kind of finishes it off don't you think <laughs> well there you have it guys that is how i would create some depth on an entrance to a stone house just giving it a bit more character and you know when it's the sun's in the right direction it will cast some 
brilliant shadows on that as you can see as I turn you can see some great shadows being casted it gives it that depth right anyway guys that's it that's it for me that is how you create a bit of depth on a stone house entrance hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you like uh, what I've done here if you do then please like and subscribe uh, and let me know if you would like me to continue with this uh, tips and tricks in the comments if you don't mind then I know if you know if I should keep on doing it and I'm not wasting my time <laughs> right thanks a lot guys for watching and I'll uh, catch you in the next one so uh, bye for now